Sakoje says we made Afrobeat attractive for Africans. Um, I mean, I like this is not him talking about Ghanaians or Nigerians. Okay. He was representing Africa mm -hmm. as a whole. I mean, Zak okay. Sakode is one of the biggest rappers in Africa, whether mm -hmm. we like to agree or not, oh, but yes. he is. And he said something one I of the liked. Most talented as yeah, well. he said something about how. Um, music were being played some years back so yeah. when you're at a party at the time and you want people to think okay let me just start going home you put in one of the um african songs and they yeah. leave but right now it's it's the other way around so when mm -hmm. people are vibing to afro bait afro pop and all that and you just play one foreign song it feels like okay i think party don't end we we'll just <laughs> go our house right yeah. Yeah. so i mean before i didn't see i didn't see it from that angle until he mentioned it and mm -hmm. it dawned on me like really I don't that's go out a lot, but that's how it yeah, is right true. now. You're sitting down in the club and then you hear one foreign song, you feel like, okay, it's like it's time to move yeah. to the next one, right? So yeah. we've mm -hmm. come a long way, regardless yeah. of how people feel and how some would say that Afrobeat is still a growing child. I agree, but we've really come a long way. Yeah. yeah. I think people are more proud mm -hmm. of Afrobeats and the music. And I think the the current Afrobeat musician, musicians are really, really trying and putting out content out there that we can be proud of. Mm -hmm. Because I think that that's one of the, like, one of the reasons why Afrobeats has become more popular even amongst Africans. It's because we've seen um, we've seen an improvement when it comes to production. We've seen different. They are now diversifying, and it's not like mm -hmm. we are hearing. You know, I feel like there was a time when people were complaining that we're hearing and getting the same thing yeah. from you know from our musicians over and over again. I feel, but like, I feel like they now, picked something. They learned from the Western yeah, world and they added they our roots to it. And, yes. it's and, just and awesome. I feel like now they make a lot of beautiful music that we can be proud of and, and we can vibe to and mm -hmm. not feel like oh we need to get this from a foreign from foreign music i feel like we cannot get that from african music so yeah yeah and i think a lot of um the angle i picked this from is that a lot of Ghanaian artists and all the artists from different parts of africa should take a cue from this um Sarkodia's attitude about yeah. the unity spirit you understand because some other people might want to personalize it and say mm -hmm. that oh ghana or oh, we made it you get like that's i believe that's what a shatawali would <laughs> for me, I'm just saying, like, Eshata Ali will probably say something like that. But um, Sakodia just showed that it was the African continent mm -hmm. he was talking about yeah. at large and how the Afrobeat has evolved, evolved, evolved. and garnered inter international recognition to the extent that we see a lot of foreign artists using our sound to make their own music. To the extent that we got a nomination on the Grammys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so I think, I, think, I, think that's, I think it's a big deal. And like mm -hmm. you said, it didn't dawn on me too that really the mm -hmm. party don't end when hip hop yeah. song comes in <laughs> you get like mm -hmm. when you're in the club in as much as i'm not the niger niger mm -hmm. music type but if i'm in the club that's what i want to listen to i don't yeah. want to be listening to some foreign stuff yeah, yeah it can come up every once in a while but Sometimes i want more local key key. No. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah it can come up once in a while <laughs> but really i think it's the other way around now and yeah. that's that's a big deal mm -hmm. yeah.